On Friday, we covered what was coming out of Spain at that time, and so much has happened over the weekend. We're going to go ahead and get into that. Uh, the Luis Rubiales scandal continues to be the biggest story in football, following his refusal to resign on Friday for his behavior at the Women's World Cup trophy ceremony, where he gave Jenny Hermoso an unwanted kiss. Hermoso broke her silence on Friday, releasing a statement in which she confirmed that the kiss was not consensual. Shortly after, the Spanish Federation responded by releasing their own statement aimed at discrediting Hermoso and threatening legal action against her. On Saturday, FIFA provisionally suspended Rubiales for 90 days pending an investigation. The Federation then released another statement, which has since been removed from their website, that read, We have to state that Ms. Jennifer Hermoso lies in every statement she makes against the president, and went on to once again threaten legal action against the player. Eleven members of the coaching staff from the under-19s through to the senior team of Spanish women's football then resigned. Notably, head coach Jorge Vilda was not among them. Vilda did release his own statement in which he condemned Rubiales' actions, lamented that the controversy was taking away from the World Cup victory, and again, did not resign. Over the weekend, Hermoso received worldwide support from men and women's players, including right here in the States, where players wore wrist tape in the phrase, Contigo Jenny. The Lioness has also released a statement of support, and on the men's side, Sevilla wore warm-up shirts with Sacabo printed on them, which translates to, it's over. Today, we learned that Rubiales' mother is on a hunger strike in support of her son, while the Spanish prosecutor's office has opened an investigation for sexual assault aimed at, against the shamed Federation president. UEFA has also received a letter from the Federation in which they state that if action is taken against Rubiales, they will look to withdraw their national teams from competition. In Madrid, a demonstration is currently taking place in the Calao Square in support of Hermoso. <sighs> That's a lot, ladies. Um, on Friday, Darian, Lisa, and I were here, and we spoke about this. And, Jordan, we haven't gotten your take yet. Let's start with you. First off, I want to say to you three and to Christine, who are here, I think you guys had a really good conversation. And it was heartfelt. It, you spoke your minds. And I think it was, you guys really met the moment where it needed to be met. So um, thank you for that. I know a lot of people echo those sentiments. It has unfortunately continued to develop, and I think that's the hardest thing for me. Last week, I remember saying, you know, I, I, I expressing my frustration at us being in this moment right now. I don't want to be talking about this. I want to be talking about Jenny Hermoso. I want to be talking about the players on the Spanish women's national team who did something nobody else has ever done in the history of football. Mm -hmm. In three World Cups, they went from not even competing to winning. And that is an incredible achievement. I wish we weren't here speaking about this. I wish Rubiales would say, I'm sorry. It was a moment that got away from me. Apologize, take control of your actions, and we could proceed from there. But if you're not gonna take accountability, that, that's where we're at. And it, it's hard now because it has gotten, you know, UEFA involved because he is also involved in UEFA. And for me to call a player a liar when the whole world saw what happened yeah. mm -hmm. in front of our eyes, mm -hmm. we saw what happened. We, so everybody that saw it is a liar? The amount of gaslighting that yeah. has been happening, and I think over the weekend of all the events that have happened, there's been a lot of threats. I'm going to call them empty threats yes. coming from mm -hmm. Rubiales himself, the Spain FA. And one thing that it makes me happy about all of this is that no one cares. Mm -hmm. Jenny Hermoso doesn't care about the threats. The women don't care about mm -hmm. the threats. There are protests happening right now because they don't care about these threats, about what's going to happen, because they are standing up for these injustices that mm -hmm. have been happening, and most recently. And I think because of Spain winning the World Cup, it's given them a pedestal in which the world is now watching, and they're using this to their advantage to enact change in what's happening in Spain. Yeah. I agree, and I think this... The good thing coming out of it, I completely agree, is that it's opening, it's exposing everything that we've heard these players speak about, that they tried to take privately, and now it's exposing it to the world. And I'm hoping that this lines this federation up so that moving forward, this never has to happen again from the top down, from the bottom up. Everybody that's with the president is gone. I think it's going to expose so many people that have contributed to this toxic environment that we've heard so much of. And sadly, I don't think we've heard the end of it, but I hope it affects the change needed for these women. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lisa, you talk about these threats. Um, the latest being that UEFA received a letter saying that they're going to withdraw their national teams from all competitions. That includes uh, the Euros. That includes qualification for the Euros. Qualification for the Olympics. That... What 
you, you mentioned them being empty threats. Well, like, how well, do right you do now, that without killing mm -hmm. your whole soccer? Well, right now, none of the, country. the women's players are going to report to national teams. So it doesn't matter what, yeah. what federation they're in because they've already said, hey, we're not going to go unless things change. Mm -hmm. So and to me, that's an empty threat for yeah. the women's team because they're, they already have disbanded yeah. themselves. They've already done that themselves. And, and when you have players, I know they're not with currently with the, the Spanish men's national team, but when you have Iniesta and Xavi saying what they have said over the weekend in support of Jenny, in support of these women, I'm sure a lot of those men playing for the men's national team, when it comes to be, they're, they're not going to want to represent mm -hmm. what this, mm -hmm. their, their country, their federation is representing right now. I'm not saying that is going to happen, but I can imagine if the way that they voice their opinions, these men, um, it, we saw it with a lot of the teams showing up with, with shirts before their games in Spain this weekend on the men's side. It seems like everybody's noticing and Everybody's supporting Jenny, and it's not a lie. We saw it in front of our face. Yeah, yeah. It, It's such a difficult topic because I've had many conversations where people come up to me and they say, you know, I've heard you talk about this publicly, but I just wanted to get your opinion, see whether it lines up. Like, it is just a kiss in the moment, and, and that's what they view it as. And I'm, I want to just make sure that people are aware that while that may be one viewpoint, the details that have followed after that make it so much worse and make it very visible that this gaslighting and this power structure has continued. And because he then goes on to call her a liar. The world saw it. He calls her a liar, that everything that she says is a lie. And how many times have women been in that situation, or, or just people in general, been in that situation where someone is just completely lying to about everything that you are and what, you, what you've seen and didn't have the backing of the whole entire world seeing it. And, and frankly, Jenny, how many times has this happened behind closed doors to these yep. players? That's something that concerns me. And now it is being noticed, not just in the sports world, but the VP of the Spanish government, Yolanda Diaz, she went um, into a press conference and she said that those who applauded Ruby Alice at that assembly should not continue in their position. So it's getting, it, it's getting recognized outside of the sports world, which is what needs to continue to happen in order for this bubble to continue to grow before it bursts. And, and the bubble being the realization that Ruby Alice doesn't think you did anything wrong. That's like <laughs> the craziest thing. We saw, so I saw it on, on when it happened live, and I'm texting Nico Cantor, my morning footy, and we we're questioning, what, what is going on here? He's being very touchy with these players. Maybe that's their relationship. I mean, are, we have the text messages to prove that we're thinking, this is weird. This is an uncomfortable thing to watch. Then that happens. And then to go back and to now see getting notifications from CNN, New York Times, all of these covering this instance and what has transpired, I think the, the idea that we have eyes on it and, and mouths talking about this all over doesn't allow them to keep it in control. So if they have, say they have, um, Spanish media on, in their pockets because they're the national team that are not speaking about this in the way that they should, well, now the New York Times is involved, CNN is involved, the worldwide news, BBC has been reported on it. How much influence can you have over everybody to say, she's a liar? No, we all saw you. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to note, too, that the players taking back the power of saying, well, we're just not going to show up. We just won a World Cup despite everything going on. You are nothing without us. This entire federation is us. What are you going to do? And we're seeing them squirm with the empty threats and Vilda's saying, oh, well, now I somewhat apologize and I've always supported women. And no. it's, it's more and more is going, they're just going to be exposed and I'm looking forward to them. Yeah not being able to speak on it anymore. And it, it's going to continue to go because if, if the players stick their ground mm -hmm. and stand their ground, which they should, remember, these players are just earned, they didn't just win the World Cup, they earned a lot of money. And the Federation is paying them that money, right? It, mm -hmm. it f funnels through there. How is that going to look? So I, I think that that is going to be a big question. We've already talked about Federations not paying their players yeah. over the World Cup. That has been a, a talking point. So these players deserve to be talked about, they deserve their money, they deserve to be listened to, mm -hmm. to be believed, to, to, for people to believe what they say. And before Spain won, I said, I hope they win because I think it'll expose what needs to be exposed. I think it's a lot deeper than any of us thought, and there's a lot more um, 
there's a lot more people willing to stand on the wrong side of this. But wow. I think we're show it's also showing everybody else that's not within the Federation who's standing on the right side of things. Mm -hmm. I think that I was more so on the other side of things, Jordan. I was like, I hope they don't win. And there was a lot of people that like that. gives yeah. them power that, oh, what we're doing here is working. And obviously, you know, the players before the World Cup, I mean, over a year ago, mm -hmm. had, had mentioned that they had issues. And the Federation then said, if you want to return to the national team, you apologize to us to get an opportunity back on the national team for bringing up these issues. You have to apologize because you had issues with what we did, even though they brought it up in a very, you know, organized way and that, you know, we have these issues. Don't even dare bring that you are unhappy here because you will then need to apologize to have a, a, a space on our team instead of trying to hear them out and trying to change conditions. It's just so reminiscent of, of manipulative behavior and I can't stand, I can't stand it. Yeah, it makes my skin crawl as well. Power to the players.